What's up Aquarius? Welcome to your February 8th to 14th reading. Happy birthday. I forgot to say that the last couple of readings, but happy birthday. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's up for the week ahead. I know we're heading into Valentine's Day and um, I was going to maybe do just love readings this week, but you know what? Nah. I mean, I have love readings available if you want them, but uh, the links are in, the link is in the description of this video, but I don't know. I kind of feel like just seeing what else is going on because not everyone's going to have a banging Valentine's Day. Okay, that feels good. We've got, wow, we've got a lot of flyer cards. Wow, and like pentacles everywhere. Okay. Things, well, things are feeling a little unstable, that's for sure, Aquarius. So, um,. This is not the week to be taking risks. So, um, I mean, there's already a trend with that message just because we are in Mercury retrograde. So it's never a good time to be signing big contracts. Um, and if you are, you should be going through them with a very fine tooth comb. Um, but uh yeah the first thing coming up is the five of pentacles we have another five not too far away the five of wands and the fives i said this a million times you're probably sick of hearing it but the fives are the most unstable number in the tarot deck and they are very like unsettled it's an unsettled number and we've got the five of wands reversed here. I mean, there's everyone fighting. So things feel, things just don't feel stable. Um, don't try your luck or, or anything when it comes to like, because we have the justice card. Um... You have the justice card crossing the five of pentacles which is like you really i just feel like when it comes to money or taking risks this week be very very careful and i mean um even like taking risks with like speeding or like I don't know it's almost as if like any little thing that's like usually just a little boo-boo could turn into a big thing so be very careful don't try your luck this week in any part of your life don't um and if you do that you will be fine we have the eight of pentacles which is a very abundant card it's like you're busy you're working you're getting shit done that is probably the best thing for you this week is to just stay busy with work. Uh, keep your nose to the grindstone and don't like don't go looking for trouble. Um, you may also be um, toying with some kind of a decision or some kind of change when it comes to your career, work, money, something like that that's fine think about it i would say don't pull the trigger this week i don't think this is a good week to be making any kind of decisions when it comes to your career or job or money um i feel like there could be help coming in some i almost feel like somebody's gonna help you out either help you help you navigate through making a decision um it could be in the form of time it could even be in the form of money maybe somebody gives you some money to help you out but again you have to be on your best behavior to receive these gifts from the universe um the king of wands is an incredibly helpful advisor and he came out with these other two cards these were your flyer cards the 
two of pentacles and the six of pentacles um so i feel like he could be a trusted advisor that helps you out now yeah but again you have you have to be you have to be on your best behavior i feel like in the past you've been trying to stand up for yourself trying to get recognized at work and it just hasn't really come together for you and right now just everything's in upheaval like i can i'm even feeling a little bit of anxiety doing this reading that's not to say like it's nothing that should be a surprise to you it's kind of your world's just a little cha a lot chaotic right now um Yeah, we've got another two here as well. The two of swords. I just, you really are toying with a decision. That's cool. This is the perfect week to think. This is the perfect week to ruminate and think and rest and think about what your next move is. But you are really being advised against being super like impulsive like this guy. The knight of swords. Like he's fucking going fast. He has a sword in the air and he's just like he's fucking going for it. And this isn't really there are is a time and a place and it ain't now. Um, by the end of the week, I feel like things will be better. Um, I feel like by the end of the week, you, the sun is shining. You feel really good about stuff. The sun has to do with rejuvenation. Then we've got the 10 of cups, which has to do with harmony, a happy, peaceful family life. Things will be good, but the fool is reversed and coming up right next to these. So this is just telling me like you could end up feeling like a fool if you do something foolish. So no crazy decisions, no knee-jerk reactions don't sign anything without reading it properly i know what you're thinking you're like wow this is a great reading for valentine's day but i mean what can i do what can i do i'm not saying you're gonna have a bad valentine's day i'm just saying that this and in all fairness valentine's day is towards the end of the week the very last day of the week so by then i mean new energy and i did say things would get better by the end of the week so Well, look at that. I mean, just as I say that, the two cards that fly out of the deck are the Emperor and the Empress. And no, these aren't really love cards. However, I feel like the Emperor and the Empress are like a couple. So if you are in a relationship right now, I feel like I feel like it's really spend Valentine's Day having a nice I don't know just a nice time even if you can't like go out like order some food in have some time with your partner maybe see if you can get a babysitter or is that a thing now i don't even know i don't have fucking kids so i don't i don't know with the pandemic i don't know how it works so um and for those of you that are single i'm almost feeling more of a like you know what get together with a good friend male or female get together and just have your own little valentine's day it doesn't have to get freaky deaky but just order some food watch something like oh, watch 90 day fiance i love that show i fucking love it um and uh yeah take it from there but um yeah i mean as for the week should be okay you should be fine just fucking don't be bad don't do bad things and by the end of the week like i said things look a lot better things i feel like stress is relieved uh there's a weight lifted off your shoulder and everything's kind of good to go so um aquarius i hope you enjoyed this reading thank you so much for tuning in and subscribe and like my channel and my video if uh you like this and uh, yeah, if you're interested in a um, love or career reading, you can purchase them or rent them on Vimeo and the link is in the description of this video. So Aquarius, have an awesome week and happy birthday and have lots of cake and I will see you next week. So bye bye for now. My clicker.